Well, thank you guys for tuning in to Chicago Prayer and Hope. If you guys are tuning in for the first time or tuning back in after a long time of being away, then I just would like to extend a very warm welcome to you and just let, let you know that our purpose and our hope is to pray for you first and foremost and to share God's truth with you right out of this active living word of God which is alive um, and still working today to this very day and the promises are true in here and we would like to just create this to create this into a community where you are known loved and valued well thank you guys for tuning in today friends I want to talk about do not worry friends I think a lot of worry it happens in this world this world that we live in a lot of people worry about stuff like what they're gonna eat what people think of them, like just about the future, about money, about you, you name it. I feel like people worry about so many things. And God says, do not worry. He says, do not. And we're, so we're going to be in Matthew 6, verse 31 through 32. So if you have your Bibles, I encourage you to flip along and follow along to that passage of us. And as you're following along, um, and as you're flipping to that passage, I'm going to open us up in a brief word of prayer to send our hearts on God, and then we'll jump into this topic. Let's pray. Father God, would you speak to us right now by this passage, Lord? God, would you soften our hearts to you, to your word. Teach us where you want us to learn. Help us not worry. Help us surrender everything to you, God. God, we love you, but we do not love you enough, so would you help us love you more? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Friends, Matthew 6, verse 31 to 32, says this. It says this, um... It says, so do not worry, saying, what shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? Verse 32, for the pagans run after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. Come on, friends. So what is verse 31 saying? It's saying, do not worry. Do not worry about what? It says, do not worry, saying, yeah. what shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or uh, what shall we wear. Uh, so the saying, it's listening to the thing that we should not worry about. And then it's saying, then it's saying, for the pagans run after all these things. So other people run runs after all these things. Like, uh, other people do. And what does it say? Since the, it says other people run after all these things. And it says, your Heavenly Father knows that you need them. God knows what we need. He, he is, He's not asleep. He knows what we need. So just take heart and take comfort knowing that He knows what you need in the end. So you can rest assured and you do not have to worry about what you're going to eat, what you will drink, what you will wear. Because your Father knows what you need. So He wants you to just, in the end, just to trust Him. Don't be like these other people who who are running after all these other things. Be like who he's commanding you, who he's calling you to be. That's my encouragement for you today. I know it's not easy. I know we live in a world that says, okay, worry about this, worry about that. But don't. My encouragement, my challenge is to call you into something different. Do not worry. Amen. So friends, um, let me just close this video off the way we normally do it. Um, by giving you an invitation to respond to... To this um, for the first time coming to God or coming back to God or going deeper in your walk with God so if you uh, would please bow your heads close your eyes and let me pray so Father God I just pray for these people watching this video Lord if someone has never given their life to you Lord I pray that they would do that right now I pray they would say I pray they would say Father God I confess I'm a sinner I confess many for you Lord I, I declare that you died on the cross you rose again on the third day, and I give my life to you right now. And Lord, um, for the people who have were once the Christians but have walked away from you, Lord, I pray they would give, come back to you. I pray they would say, Father God, I come back to you boldly. God, I declare my life is yours and yours alone. So look, God, I come back to you right now. Uh, and I surrender everything to you, declaring that I can't do it alone, even though I thought I could. And Lord, I just pray for the rest of the people who have already made this decision, decision that they would continue to go deeper into the walk with you, God, and not grow weary and doing good. God, I pray this in your name. Amen.
Friends, if you just prayed one of these prayers today for the first time, no matter which prayer you prayed, whether you prayed a prayer to, to accept Christ for the first time, or prayed a prayer to recommit your life to Christ, or prayed a prayer to just go deeper in your walk with God, every one of these prayers is equally important. So we want to rejoice with you, which, whichever prayer you made. And if we, you just have any personal prayer requests, please let us know. We would love to be praying for you. We would love to just walk alongside you and serve you in any way that we can. Um, if you guys, yeah, just don't hesitate to reach out. We are here for you. Until next time, we hope you have a very blessed day. And remember to keep Christ number one. Have a great day.